What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Persona 3. I hope you guys are enjoying it and, you know, not getting bored of kind of the monotonous going to school every day, talking to the friends every day. I know it's kind of, game kind of takes a second to get, kind of get going every time, but you know, let's get in to uh, more gameplay of us going to school and then hopefully you make it to the next full moon. But yeah, see you guys. Let's go. All right, so we're going to read with Fuka. Um. Uh, do you want me to continue reading that sci-fi novel together? If you're not too busy, I mean. Yeah, we will read with you. Alright. So the other day, I recommended the novel I'm reading to a classmate. I don't talk to her much, but at the time we were discussing a movie we'd both seen. She wasn't too keen on the recommendation and turned me down though. It was because the series looked hard to get into. There are so many volumes. Uh, well, she's missing out. That's for sure. If she just gave it a chance, I know she would see how interesting it is. The basic premise is about journeying to other planets, and even that by itself already sounds intriguing. And the writing is so unique and poetic. I can't help but get sucked in. Recommending something to someone is a really tricky thing, huh? Well, thank you anyways. I appreciate you showing interest in that book. Okay, I think I'll read a little further myself. <sighs> Whew, I finished the whole thing. Oh yeah, my academics goes up. We read. We're maxed out. Time flies by. Well then. Good night. And so. All right. So this dude's gonna tell us about whatever, a bunch of stuff about the ancient Japan and stuff. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I go to sleep? Yeah. Uh, close my eyes. is over for today let's go hang out with somebody I think the student council I think we're hanging out with the student council so this one let's see what is it rank seven okay spend time with them do something what do you mean a teacher came by earlier and called him to the faculty office that teacher seemed really upset did something happen I better head to the faculty office don't be so stubborn all you have to do is write his name on the list he was appointed to the student council by the president herself. He's a responsible person. That's why I didn't add him to the suspect list. You know there are witnesses who've seen him wandering the streets late at night, don't you? I thought you hated students who don't follow the rules. It's not that I doubt the witness reports. It's more that I trust him. So I'm not adding him to the list. Odagiri. I really thought you were smarter than this. You can go ahead and forget about our deal. If 
you'll excuse me then. So, you heard all that. It wasn't me. I know, you don't have to convince me. That teacher suspects you of all people. How he ever got certified is a mystery to me. Don't worry, even if the whole school turns on me, I'll have your back. We're becoming better friends. Rank eight. Let's go. I'll have your back. You're starting to rub off on me. See you later. I planted on the rooftop should be ready to harvest. Maybe I should go check on them. Yeah. Let's do that. And then we'll we'll do whatever she wants to do next. So to the rooftop. I guess we'll do these since we have a lot of them. The buff potato sprout. All right, so now back to the lounge. We're gonna hang out with Yukari. Oh. Thanks. All right, this should be enough. There was a program on TV the other day showing how to make tender chicken breasts. Slice against the grain, marinate it in sauce, and then cook gently at a low temperature. I'm gonna reclaim my pride today. Just you wait. Hmm, good luck. Thanks, you can count on me. I'll make it so good, you'll be asking for seconds. So, we have to wash our hands first, and then... You're in charge of the rice and veggies. Mmm. So tender and juicy. Way better than last time. See? This is what I'm capable of. I knew I could do it if I tried. <laughs> I can tell you like it too. <laughs> that look on your face says it all. I couldn't help but laugh when you started wolfing it down. A chicken oh, saute, let's go. You didn't actually say yum. Hmm. Anyway, let's eat up. We still have cleaning to do after this. Uh, oh, sorry. No one was here, so I figured it'd be okay. It's rare to see you here. Is it for the archery team? Yes, the teacher wanted a report. I see. That's a lot of responsibility. Oh, not really. It's nothing compared to what you have to do. Actually, uh, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Senpai, what are you fighting for? Well, I... I guess you could say... It's my way of atoning for the past. In my case, I don't think I really have a reason anymore. I mean, I know the whole story about my father now. I guess I could still fix the mistakes he left behind, though. <sighs> Maybe I should have thought about this earlier, huh? But it took me this long to start questioning myself. That's understandable. It seems like everyone has their own reason for fighting. 
Well, defeating the shadows is probably a good enough reason, huh? What are you trying to say? I'm not exactly sure, but it's all gonna be over after the next full moon, so there's not much point in thinking about it. That's true. Once we put an end to this, we can go back to a normal high school life. The rest of the student council will be here soon. We can pick this up later, though, if you want. Oh no, that's okay. Thanks for listening. Alright, class is over. I guess we're gonna hang out with Chihiro. Chihiro is the nerdy girl, I think, right? This girl? Yeah. So she's rank six. Alright, are you leaving now? I was just thinking about visiting the bookstore again. I know it might be a lost cause, but still, let's hang out with her. Spend time. To be honest, I was afraid to go by myself, but with you, then even if someone bought it, I should be more optimistic. Is she gonna buy the book she hid? Senpai, hurry! I hope no one's bought that illustration collection. Uh, please still be there. Wait! Bushimi! They said our class's materials fee hasn't been paid yet. Yeah, I was totally getting grilled in the faculty office just now. Alright, the money. I, um, gave it to Mr. Takenozuka when he came to the office. You were the one responsible for that money, weren't you, Fushimi-san? That means you were the last one who saw it. Um, but I just told you. Well, the teacher told us we haven't paid yet. So doesn't that make this your fault? Um, uh, I... Senpai? It's gotta be a misunderstanding. Y yes I think so too. I clearly remember giving the money to the teacher. It has to be some kind of mistake. Look, just make sure you take care of it, all right? Imagine she stole it. Have that much money, but you better do something before everyone finds out. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Wait, you think I? Uh, th those guys, they must think I stole the money. I, I couldn't stand up to them, but I, I, I didn't take anything. We have to do something. Y yes, you're right. We have to do something. I have to prove to everyone that it wasn't me. How do I do that? I'm certain I handed the money over. I'll just have to talk to Mr. Takanozuka about this. But what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? Senpai, what should I do? Sheesh. I... I'm sorry. I know I can't just expect you to solve everything. This is my problem, so... I need to figure it out on my own. Bookworms. I think I have to pass today. Sorry. Bummer. She didn't get the book she wanted. How sad. I see you back. Hell yeah. Okay, so we're gonna hang out with. All right, what are we doing now? gonna go for a walk take the dog for a walk let's go oh 
What hey, it's that nerd from the hey, art class or whatever. Is that a Shiba? That white fur is really nice. Almost makes him look mystical or something, don't you think? He looks like a fake ass huck husky. <laughs> oh man, he just looks so cool. I wonder how soft he is. Well, I don't want to make him uncomfortable or anything. Hey, do you think I could try petting him next time? I'll study up the proper way to do it. That's weird. I would never study how to pet a dog. I would just pet the dog. I got some messages. Yukari trying to hang out? Chihiro trying to hang out? Guess who's bored? So it's Sunday, we do shopping. It's a I'm going good, good. A pumpkin mask. Not bad, kid. And Halloween candy. Hell yeah. For twenty-five thousand dollars. I'll buy it. Honestly, they could sell me my own shoe. Thanks, kid. I'd buy it. Bye -bye. Doesn't matter. This one? Akinari, once again. Let's do it. Sounds fine to me. I don't know why. I what, thought wait, so too. That's even talking about. I knew you'd understand. See, it's the main character of a story that I'm writing. He was born in a lush green forest, but he turned out to be pink. He stands out so much that he can't hunt for food easily, so he's always hungry. The other animals dislike him and call him disgusting, almost like he's cursed. So, he was used to living alone. But one day, he made a friend. It was a little bird that had trouble flying. Every day, the bird would stand on the pink alligator's back and practice. It's kind of embarrassing to tell you this. So, what do you think? It sounds interesting. Really? I've never written a story before, so I'm worried it's not going to be very good. But what matters is that I'm writing it for myself. Perhaps I can show you the entire novel someday. I actually came up with it the other day. I decided I wanted to write a heartwarming story just for myself. I'd like it to be a hopeful tale about finding the meaning in one's life. I think of you when I write. It's like I can hear you telling me not to die just yet. God damn. You think when he gets max level, he's just gonna die? That'd be crazy. The wind is going to pick up soon. I can feel these kinds of things now. I hope I have enough time. We should leave. I'd like to see you again sometime. Welcome. 
All right, so we get the dog again. Um. I can't, I can't replant yes. my plants though, right? Can we? Well, I guess we can. Hustling. The plants seem much livelier than they did when we started. Do you suppose they're happy that you are tending to them? Yeah. Fascinating. There's no data on this, but it seems like you understand them. Hello, plants. I will be tending to you as well this time. Don't worry. I'll make sure to decrease my pressure output. But if anything starts hurting, just raise your left hand. Or rather, your left leaf. I had some prior knowledge of plants, but this was my first time observing them directly. These little seeds and buds in the earth can morph and change so quickly. Is this proof that they are living as well? How fascinating. I would like to watch these plants grow and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power. This took more time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. It's gotten late. We should head back now. Hell yeah. She's a little weird. I didn't expect Miss Teruchi to pull such a legendary move in Meijong last night. I've never had that bad of luck before. Is it because of the month? Ugh. I still can't get over Listen. it. Who should I ask this one? Justin. In most of Japan, October is considered the month without gods because there's no, they're not around. But there's one region that instead calls it the month with gods because that's where they all go. Do you know which one it is? Izumo. Exactly. Jackpot. All of the gods in Japan gather each year in Izumo to meet and forge relationships with one another. I want to be blessed with a loving relationship too. But first, I need some money, and then to find love, and then to work hard. So I guess the first thing is, I need to go to Naganaki's shrine to pay my respects. Oh, it's already too late. Shoot. with Fuka. Oh. I'm just about to head home. How about you? Uh -huh. Now that I think about it, even though we live in the same dorm, we've never gone back together. Remember how I told you I wanted to improve my cooking? Well, I've been trying a lot since then. I can never seem to get the taste right. I still don't have a feel for how much salt to add. How do you do it? Just a dash or two. A dash? Oh, so speed is important? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I've just been pouring it in slowly. I'll try and remember that. To tell you the truth, I was actually hoping I could make something you'd really like. But I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. <laughs> Maybe cooking just isn't for me. <sighs> oh, sorry. I know you're just trying to help me, and all I'm doing is being negative. Just take it slow. 
It'll be alright. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. I've never had someone be so supportive of me like this before. I actually have quite a lot of trouble staying optimistic about things. In my head, I always imagine something going horribly wrong. That's why sometimes I feel like giving up when I'm cooking. That's literally but everybody. You know, when I'm around you or the rest of the team, <sighs> too many people are like negative all the You've time. You've all given me so much confidence in myself. So, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. That's why I want to show you all my gratitude. Hell yeah. We'll level level three, baby. Let's go. Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. Actually, it might be a little too advanced for me. The library might have some books for beginners, though. Mm, but in that case, I can't really read while cooking. I wouldn't want to get the pages dirty. Okay. Oh, right. I guess I could do that. But I don't really like going to bookstores. It's not a big deal, though. Oh my gosh! When did it get so late? I have to go! Um, the hairdryer burned out, so I was planning on fixing it. But I was hoping to get it done before Yukari-chan and the others got back. Sorry. Do you mind if we up the pace on the way back? Welcome back. I have a suggestion. We'll make some tea. Thank you. If you want to go it feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you then? Are you having a good time? Yeah, of course. <sighs> that's good to hear. Chamomile is known for its relaxing properties, so maybe that's... Chamomile? Who talks I like that? Was actually it's chamomile, lady. You weirdo. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Hmm? We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to... Actually? Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. All right, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. Is it just me? Or are more people coming down with the apathy syndrome lately? Yep, yep. My friend's brother friend got it too. Mm. It's starting to scare me. And it's on the news every day now. Did you see the special program they ran? Apparently, Nostradamus predicted that this all this would happen. Oh my god. Nostradamus predicted it. That's funny. <laughs> Class is ended for the day. Okay, so we can hang out with this girl. I don't think our bond will go. Okay, let's see if uh, let's see if anybody else has a bond that will grow. Bebe is a six. Uh. 
Let's see what else we got. Is this bookworms maxed out? Yeah. So I guess there's nobody here to hang out with. So, yeah, maybe I guess everybody's in school. Who's down here? This is the art kid. It's like the last person I want to hang out with. So in the classroom we have these two, but I think we're maxed them out. This is the art kid. This is, who is this? Okay, the nerd girl and baby. I guess that's it. So I guess we hang out with Baby. Level six. idea to get my uncle to appreciate Japan's charm. I will show him a kimono. When he sees it, uh, he will understand the beauty of Nihon. That's, that's a great idea. <laughs> I guess. Wait, with you in my corner, I have nothing to fear. The kimono is a Japanese treasure, full of culture and history. If I show it to my uncle, he will surely let me stay in Nihon. As for the design, it will be inspired by the mascot of Azuki Arai. Simple, but deep. I choose this design because, well, you are the one who took me there. All right. Rank up. Level seven, let's go. I can see everything clearly now. I shall hurry in Mexico Mono. I must sow. Sow like the wind. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Alright, we're just gonna watch TV with with our homie here. Hey. Alright. This is it. I borrowed the last volume of the series you and I have been watching. It's been a wild ride, and while I'm sad the story's ending, I can't wait to watch how they wrap things up. Yukari is really looking forward to this. Watching with her might improve my charm. Let's go. Yes. We're finally at the last episode. I wonder how it's going to end. You know, about this series, I mentioned before how it caught my attention, but I was afraid it might be too scary for me. But I'm glad I watched it. Guess it's important to break out of your comfort zone sometimes. Do you ever try watching things from genres you don't normally get into? Yeah, if I'm with someone. I'm the same way. Isn't it easier to try something new when you have someone with you for the ride? It's also nice to be able to comment on it and see the other person's reaction. Watching this together made me realize how much I appreciated the main character. Like how she can't turn a blind eye to people in need and extends her hand to almost anyone. 
And of course, the way she kept pressing forward no matter what happened. It was so inspiring. Come to think of it, isn't she just like you? <laughs> that might be a stretch. Remember how I told you about that girl I was close to who started ignoring me one day? It's not like I did anything to make her hate me. We've been friends for a long time, but one day out of the blue, she just said, my mother told me I can't play with you anymore. It's because there were rumors floating around about my parents. I kind of get it now, looking back, but at the time, I was just sad. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, this show made me realize I'd like to be a little more like the main character. I want to be the kind of person who'd help anyone at any time. Someone who's kind and strong. It might be silly to say I look up to a fictional character, but there's no harm in following her example. At least, that's what I think. So she's been inspired by the protagonist of the show. Um, she's gonna get, like, a new ability. Hell yeah. Reduces the SP cost of recovery skills. Very good. Last episode starting. That ending was so good! I hope they'll make a sequel. I'll bring more DVD. <laughs> Good evening. Yo, it's my creepy boy. It'll be a full moon again in just another week. Finally, this will be the 12th ordeal. Are you ready? I can't tell if time's been at a crawl or flying on by. But either way, a lot's happened, hasn't it? It's a bit soon to be reminiscing, though. How about I come see you once it's over? Be careful now. With their bro here. Oh, doesn't think our bomb will grow? Sorry. I'm not gonna hang out with her. Let's see if somebody else will grow. That one nerd girl. Oh, she's not here. God dang it. God dang it. She's maxed out, right? Oh no, she's a nine. Maybe we finish her off. Let's get this to a 10. Sorry I'm late. I was asking the teacher about something I didn't understand in class. But then it led to even more questions, so I was stuck there for a while. Ugh, this is so heavy. I shouldn't have crammed everything in there. Is it stuff for the track team? reference books. There were so many things I wanted to ask. I ended up bringing the books for every subject. Whenever I come to this field, I get so nostalgic. It hasn't even been that long since we coached those kids though, huh? Uh, that's just how fulfilling it was. You said it. I had to really put my brains and body to work. I've never had to run around like that. Not even for the track team. Oh, that's right. Here, take this. A kid's letter. It's from those kids. They told me to make sure I give it to him. Aww. Yeah, they usually just called you coach or boyfriend, huh? You get something like this, it makes you forget how tough it was in the moment. Kind of makes me want to do it all again. What about you? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. 
Oh, but I would like more people to help out next time. It was pretty hard with just the two of us. Once I'm caught up on school, I'd like to take some time to think. Not just about coaching, but about enjoying life and stuff too. <laughs> I can hardly wait. All right, time to study like hell. Oh, let me know when you figure out what you want to do for your future too, okay? If you decide on something similar, maybe we could even study together. Hell yeah. We got a strong bond. Max, max rank. Let's go. The strength. Oh, look at the time. Uh, I need to go buy some reference books. See you around. After saying goodbye to Yuko, I decided to go back to the dorm. Hell yeah. We did it. We maxed her out. We're getting a bunch of people maxed out. I feel like we're not that close to the end of the game. It's kind of crazy. We got the pumpkin mask. Should I try it on? If you don't mind, there's something I'd like to ask you about Aragaki. I can't bear leaving it as it is. Could I ask you to organize his remaining belongings? He had no relatives to pass anything on to, and didn't have many possessions in the first place. His room will be cleaned out by the staff next month. So if you do, or if you do want, you can before October 31st. I'm sure it will be tough, but I would appreciate it. Okay. I think we're supposed to just do that. I'm not sure which room is his. Is his on the first floor? Oh, here it is. Let's go check it out. Damn. There's like literally nothing in here. Oh shoot, he had a bunch of stuff. I guess that's it. Kind of, uh, kind of sad to take all this stuff, but... You know, it is what it is. Increases dark damage. Okay. Leave the room. I guess we're gonna go into Tartarus. We gotta find the two people that went missing in here. Try to just sprint, sprint through everything. Just find the people and leave as fast as possible. I really don't need to fight everybody, you know? Let's get a move on, party people. Hey, let's loot that chest.
She is. Is that the little girl? The like, um, the one that moved away? My homie oh, that's a level a 10? Chest. Okay, this is not her. Look, there she it. is. It is Maiko. Um, wow. Um, we take it back to the entrance. Okay, so that's one. There's one more. So it's supposed to be right here. Uh -huh. Another treasure. Oh, there's a treasure chest. I just hope like all the enemies are afraid of me. And they just run away. Me Patra. We got two of those. We got ourselves a shadow here. There's a treasure chest. What should we do? Open it. Duh. A shadow. Oh, can we go up the Should we chase this? At least get the bonus one. Um, yeah. Oh my god. There we go. Nope, not that way. I've been wanting a new coat, so maybe I'll buy one and expense it as battle equipment. Just kidding. Feeling in the world is to be young and in love, am I right? What is he talking about? The best feeling in the world is to be young and in love. <laughs> Weirdo. Is he even in love? I guess he's in love with that that like weird girl. Chidori. Excellent. Alright, so this is where they should be. Yeah, boy. Who is that? Is that somebody else I know? Um. There's no room for carelessness. Stay alert. There's a shadow. Is that there he is. A missing. Just some man in pain, huh? Okay. Take him back. Okay. We're done here. We can get out. 
to go home for the night. We'll call it quits. Let's get on with today's lesson. Bro, I'm not even gonna... I am not gonna deal with this guy. <laughs> Close our eyes. There's no way I'm gonna read everything that dude says. He talks way too much. Alright, so... Do we hang out with her? Will it let us? Bonus? Uh, it's not gonna grow. Let's see if uh, the nerdy girl is available. If she's not, then we'll just hang out with her. Even though it won't, like, level up. She is. Okay. So we'll hang out with... Chihiro. Oh, also it won't grow. Which one's more worth it? I guess we'll do it with her. Hang out with you, Chihiro. Hello, five more days till the, till the full moon. Um, I think we're going to read with Fuko. Fuka, uh, my bad. <laughs> oh, she might level up. Oh, she might like get a new ability. All right. Let's read. Yeah, I guess it's like magic. It's one way to describe it. Oh, it really does feel that way, doesn't it? They do say advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Maybe going in with that mindset makes sci-fi a little less intimidating. I wish I could communicate as well as the author does in this book. Remember when I told you how I recommended a book to a classmate, but she turned me down? Knowing what to say is important, but how you say it is difficult too. Before I could tell her how fascinating the story is, I was telling her how many volumes it was and that it's written by a famous author. I don't think that kind of information is going to persuade someone to read. Nee. It'll go better next time. Yeah, you learn from your mistakes. Thanks. Maybe I'll try talking to her again. I think I'll have a lot of good things to say about this book now. It always feels nice when someone shows an interest in something you like. Even just sharing our opinions like this is so refreshing. That's why I really want to work on how I communicate things. Because if I do that, then maybe I'll get more fun moments like this. Hell yeah. She's nodding with determination. So what she got? Weakness buffer. Oh, look at the time. We should probably call it a night. I have some other books I can recommend, if you'd like. Thank you. I hope you'll like those too. Well then, good night. It's getting close. It's almost full moon. 
Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. What the heck? This time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. I just found two, and then the two more or another one walks in. Annoying. Okay, let's begin. All right. Uh, let's see if you can tell those tell the class. Here's a question about sweet potatoes a Certain enzyme brings out the sweetness in them when they're baked. Do you happen to know what it is? It's got to be like glucose, right cuz that's like the the sugar Oh, no, it's better out um, um, uh, I'm not even gonna try I give up. Yes, that's right. All right, <laughs> editor, remove that. <laughs> remove me not being able to talk, please. Thank you. When the beta amylase, amylase in sweet potatoes breaks down the gel gelatinized st start. I <laughs> Come on, man. It's because of malt sugar called maltose. That's why heating sweet potatoes up makes them even sweeter. The temperature at which beta whatever is activated is such to be roughly 60 to 70 degrees. Which is why a slowly baked potato is sweeter than one that was rapidly heated. has ended for today alrighty so that's gonna be the end of it uh, we had some good times we killed a bunch of stuff we saved a bunch of people from the place but um you know time's up I'm out of time to play more so we'll have to play continue on next time we should make it to uh, definitely make it to the the next full moon on the next part but until then, hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys have a good day. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Goodbye.